This weekend we're going to do an old classic, roast leg of lamb with rosemary and garlic. We're going to start out the day before by cleaning an entire head of garlic. You want to chop the cloves up, just go ahead and rough chop these and mash them as best you can. Once we get that done, we're going to turn to our rosemary. We've got about five sprigs of this. We're going to hold it by the tip and just pull down the stem backwards to get all the needles off of it. We don't need the stems on this, we just want the needles. Once they're off, we'll go ahead and mix those in with our garlic. We're going to go ahead and rough chop those needles and the garlic together. The idea here is to get all of the essential oils out of those so that we can impart them into the olive oil and into the meat. With those chopped, we're going to place them in a Ziploc bag that's large enough for our leg of lamb. Now let's turn to that leg of lamb. We've got a five pound boneless leg of lamb here. You can use one with the bone. It'll cook a little quicker because it has the bone in it. Store had boneless today, so that's what we bought. We're going to go ahead and take this out of the plastic bag and rinse it off. It has an elastic stocking over it that holds it together. We're going to leave that on for right now, but we will be taking that off prior to cooking. With that rinsed off, we're going to go ahead and put it into the bag and put some olive oil in there. About a cup, cup and a half of olive oil, enough to coat that leg of lamb and mix in with all that fine rosemary and garlic we've put in there. We want to squeeze all the air out of this bag that we possibly can before we finally seal it completely. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and massage the garlic and rosemary into the leg of lamb. Just toss it around, make sure it's evenly coated. You'll find that you can even push your thumbs inside the cavities in the leg of lamb despite the bag and the stocking so you can get this rosemary and garlic over all the meat. We're going to refrigerate that overnight. Let's move out to our cooker. One of the big misconceptions about these pellet cookers is that you can only smoke on them. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. You can actually cook, grill, roast, do anything you want on them without smoking covered our grease pan with heavy aluminum foil. We won't need that today because we'll be cooking our leg of lamb in an aluminum foil roaster. Put pellets into our hopper. We're going to be putting some more of those in here. We've set our temperature for 350 degrees. So as you can see it's set to cook at 350 degrees. It's not going to smoke at all. It's simply going to cook like an oven. Take our leg of lamb out of the bag. Go ahead and brush all the excess off of this. We're going to take this elastic stocking off the leg of lamb. that in our roasting pan. And the only reason we're using this roasting pan today is because I want to retain the juices to make gravy. Other than that I just put it on the grills and cook it without the pan. Put a little salt on there and let it come to room temperature. Our lamb's at room temperature. Our cooker's up to 350 degrees. We're going to put it on there for two hours we're looking for an internal temperature of 145 degrees which would be medium rare. They're two hours up, move back out, and there's our beautiful leg of lamb. I'm going to let that sit on a cutting board for about 30 minutes to rest, and we're going to go ahead and carve some of that off. As you can see, nice pink center, beautifully roasted. Put down on a plate with some potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and onion sauce, and enjoy.